President Uhuru Kenyatta made his way to Uhuru Gardens to preside over his last national celebrations as the country's head of state. Nine years and two months after his election as the nation's fourth president, Kenyatta used the Madaraka Day festivities to outline his administration's successes and challenges. In his 7,730-word speech, President Kenyatta defended his government's appetite for debt in the last nine years. I want to pose a national question. How much is too much borrowing? When does borrowing become too much and unbearable to a nation? The only time debt is a burden to a nation is if a nation is led by looters. But in the hands of a visionary administration, debt is a catalyst for rapid development. When President Kenyatta took over from his predecessor, the late Nzemoi Kibaki, the country's debt burden stood at 1.8 trillion shillings. At the end of his first term in 2017, the debt level had shot to 4.4 trillion shillings, and as of December last year, it had risen to 8.2 trillion shillings, according to data from the Central Bank of Kenya. Kenyatta defending the borrowing that has largely gone into financing infrastructure projects, among them, among them the standard gauge railway line, ports, bypasses, and the Nairobi Expressway. If we can transport 10 times more passengers with the SGR at half the price and at half the time, and move three times more cargo daily from Mombasa to our neighbors, then our borrowing has surely been worthwhile and paid tangible bad dividends. His successor's burden being to service the loans and revitalizing the country's economy. And the national question, therefore, to us today is not whether debt is good or bad. The more legitimate question has to do with what the next administration will do with borrowed funds. Will they end up in the private pockets or will they be used to accelerate economic advancement? The cost of infrastructure projects has drawn President Kenyatta's administration criticism from those who accuse him of using a huge chunk of the country's taxes to service the loans. The naysayers have said that we should not invest so heavily in infrastructure because people do not eat roads, they do not eat bridges. I have refused their pessimism because I know what a new road means to a farmer who has for decades been unable to get their produce quickly to the market. The road network, according to the president, was value for money and a catalyst for economic growth. Truth be said, we have built more roads in nine years than what all previous administrations combined, including the British, built in 123 years. <laughs> The president stating that investment in agriculture, value addition, information communication technology, and digital service delivery had paid off with more investors setting shop in the country. You cannot implement big push investments in an environment of political strife and hypocrisy. Many have doubted whether my government has achieved in the second term. But let me tell you, we have, and the re record must reflect that this is true of all sectors. Land reforms, according to Kenyatta, was a key highlight of his two-term tenure. In the past, all land matters in Kenya were handled using a manual registry, and this made the Ministry of Lands a total den of corruption. In fact, Part of the Wilson Airport runway to my left here had a title deed registered in the name of a private individual. But as part of the reforms in the land registry, the process of stamping out fake title deeds and reversing this fraud has been accelerated. Rehabilitation of Uhuru Gardens featuring in his list of jubilee achievements. This historic site had become a den of thieves and in fact, it is on record that part of the 68 acres on which these grounds sit had fallen into the hands of unscrupulous individuals. We have reclaimed it and grabbed the site back and restored its dignity and purity. 
Madaraka Day celebrations in 2013 marked President Uhuru Kenyatta's first national celebrations as the country's fourth head of state. Madaraka Day celebrations in 2022 confirming his exit and ushering the succession race that will be held on the 9th of August. While President Uhuru Kenyatta says he has achieved many milestones and legacies during his tenure, the Kenyan electorate has an opportunity to assess his performance and identify his misses and hits. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV, Uhuru Gardens, Nairobi.